Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sticker Designs by Mel. I'm Melanie. So, uh, I know I've been on and off with the filming. I'm hoping, I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm hoping that I'm at a place now with my schedule that I should be able to get back into filming regularly. I do have budget videos coming. I just have to sort a few things out and just catch up with that. Um, but that should be coming for those of you who have been messaging me. And thank you so much for those of you who have reached out. I am fine. It has just been quite an adjustment getting used to the new schedule now that my daughter is a cheerleader. So our youngest is a cheerleader. When she used to be an acrobatic gymnast, the schedule was a lot more flexible. It was a lot easier to manage with dance. Um, now that she's a cheerleader and I have my other dancer who's competitive, I cannot tell you the insanity that my schedule has been. So, anyways, uh, for today, I want to go ahead and plan out this next week in my life planner. You can see, like, I have, like, almost nothing decorated. Like, that's January. There's February. Like, nothing. I did one of these. Like, this is just the reality of life right now. So, um, I didn't even do my March monthly, and I have stickers poking out here. I didn't even do my March monthly. I will probably go back and do this, um, but right now I need to focus on um, the weekly. So, let me straighten out my camera. It looks a little crooked. Okay, hopefully that's better. Um, so, we're going to do this next week which is March 13th to the 19th. So, yeah. Um, and since this is St. Patrick's Day here, I am using my brand new... Um, oh, flip to the right page. So this is my Ghostly Leprechauns kit um, that I created, and it is quite different from what I usually have on my website. This has, like, scary photos kind of thing. So, like, look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous. So I'm excited to use this kit. Some dark greens and the light greens and the yellows. And this is all in my new weekly kit format. So you get a whole bunch of stuff if you order the entire kit or like usual, you can order individual sheets. For example, I rarely use this much washi in my spread, so I would most likely not need this. Um, I mean, we'll have, we'll see how it goes, but so if you're like me and you don't use a lot of washi, then you wouldn't have to order this. You could just order whatever sheets appeal to you. And then these are add-ons as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Now, this is right now March break. Um, so this week is March break for us. I think in the States you guys call it spring break. I'm not sure if it's like the same week or not. But essentially the kids and the hubby and I are off school slash work. Um, which is good. But at the same time, as you're going to see very soon, my schedule is still going to be a little crazy. So... Um, it's like the dance people and cheer people take this whole March break thing to mean, like, let's just ramp things up. So I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm actually excited about it, but it is going to be a lot. Okay, I think usually I put, uh, like, glitter headers here, and then I put the dates, but I'm thinking... Because it's similar to this, I might just go ahead and use this washi. Some people like to put this washi, like, above the bottom. Um, I mean, you can do it any which way you like. These kits are very versatile. You can use them however you prefer. There are no rules. They're just there for you to use as you wish. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and see how that goes. If I can get them down straight. So yeah, I've been super busy with cheer and dance. I mean, don't get me wrong. My husband's been helping a crazy amount. And I'm super thankful. Because there's no way I can be in like 20 places at once. So that's been nice. But it's still a lot. Um, it's, just, it's just been a lot. We've had 
like I think twice I've been to the States in the past month or so. Um, and I've had other competitions to attend, not to mention all the work I've had to do for like my actual work. So I've had marking and planning to do for my students. I still have quite a bit of marking to get caught up on. Um, and then there's my shop. I've been working on releases and orders and I have another release coming this week. So, um, oh, and, and, uh, a couple friends and I, we started a podcast. So if you haven't listened to that yet, uh, make sure you actually, it's not, um, it's not linked here, but I will put it in the description box where you can find our podcast. Um, it is linked in my bio in Instagram. Um, but yeah, it has, that has definitely been fun. And I'm going to be honest, finding time for that has been just as challenging, but because there are two other people, like I just, I have to make sure that I have the time, you know? So, um, we have already, how many episodes do we have live? I think we have, I want to say two episodes are live. Yeah. I, we have two episodes that are live. We've recorded a total of four episodes so far. So um, we're trying to keep ahead of schedule. That way, if there is a week that is just, it's not possible for us to record, then at least we have material and we don't have to fall too far behind. Um, but yeah, it's it's hilarious. So I, didn't, I don't think I even mentioned who it's with. So it's with uh, Lori from Lori Dean Plans and Steph from Steph's Design Space. I'm just trying to think which box I want to put up here. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. This one's very yellowish for me. I feel like, hmm. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to put this one. I'll go with this one. See what it looks like. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. Okay, and then the rest I usually put in the middle. So let's start with maybe this castle one. And which lines? I think we covered these lines today. Cover the top lines. I'm going to alternate between people and castles, I think, or buildings. And see if that works. Not that it truly matters, but, you know, um, I'll go, I won't be able to, I'm just noticing I won't be able to, there are just too many people. Okay, so I'm just going to go with this one and put it here. I, I, as soon as I saw this artwork, I knew how different it was from what I usually have in my shop or on my website. But I just loved it so much. Just the vibe of it. And the colors are vibrant. I I had to use it. So I hope some of you like it as well. It is still available on my website. If you're interested. Um, but I just love the vibe from it. It's not like terrifying pictures. But it does give you that kind of ghost leprechaun. St. Patrick's Day kind of thing going. All right, so we have that. So let's see, this is where we're at so far. Okay, so now we have the main parts down. I can start adding in any of the things going on. So first, I am going to add recycling day because I need to make sure I don't forget that. Now, what box do I want to put that on? I think I'll go with this one. So that will be on Tuesday. Put that there. And recycling day. So recycling day is Tuesday. So that's set. Now, I'm trying to think. I have my release on Wednesday. I'm going out of town on Sunday and coming back Monday. So, how about I do this dark one? 
they did cut a little off, but that's okay. That's why this is my kit, and it's not one that I'm actually sending to a customer. Uh, so I'm going to put uh, return trip home. And this is just my Paper Mate Flare pen. Um, I'm just going overnight with our youngest. She is doing her first communion in April and my aunt is a seamstress, a professional seamstress. So she's making her dress and we need to have a quick fitting. So that's where we are going to do that. Um, I'm trying to think, let me look at my schedule. Okay, so I don't always put a lot of my business stuff in this planner, but because it's going to be a busy week, um, I want to put a couple things just so I remember. So I'm going to go with these two ones here. I'm going to put it down here. It'll also help me cover up these lines. I am hoping, I think the new Erin Condren releases are going to be shown very soon. And I'm hoping beyond hope that we get a vertical, a three box vertical with either no lines or at least just one line separating. I don't know why there's two lines. It just, it's beyond me. Anyway, so we have our $2 Tuesday here. So that will be on Tuesday. And that is a beautiful kit. I cannot wait for you to see it. And then my new releases go live on Wednesday. I have to write on the coil. There we go. So new releases go live. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the big stuff for the shop for this week. And then I'll have the rest of the week to work on orders um, when I am home. <laughs> because... I leave on Thursday. So since I'm almost done this sheet, I kind of want to use this washi, but it's very similar to this. So, and I don't want to use that washi sheet because I know that I most likely won't use any of the rest of it. So let's just make our own little washi. I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to, Put down these strips here, but I'm going to try to connect them so that it looks like a single washi strip. It may not look perfect because the pattern won't follow, but honestly, I'm not going to stress too much about it. We'll just do this, and it will look like washi tape. I'll go with this one, and I will have to trim... A little bit. Where's my knife? Alright, so we'll do this. And trim it right here. There we go. So we have a pretend washi strip here. Um, and for that, I think I will use this large box here. And maybe put it over the edge, which is not like me at all. It's not very straight, but I'll deal with it. So, um, no. You know what? I shouldn't have put that there. Shoot. Am I even going to be able to pull that up? This is not what I was hoping to do. Hold on. I had thought about of a plan, and now I've just gone and slightly messed it up. You stay down there. All right, so we have that. So I'm gonna, this one is too similar to that picture. So hold on, you stay there for a minute. What can I put here? Okay, I think I know what I can do. So here I'm going to put, okay, so here I'm going to put one of these down here. I'll do that, and I have a to-do 
let's put this here. And this will be like my, uh, you know, pack, get the costumes and all the things. So I have that. Now, this is the day we leave. So this is our travel day. So this is where I want it to add a box. So let's add this box here. And I will add it just on top of that washi. And I will write travel day. Travel day. Now it's just the kids and I that are going. Hubby's going to stay here because we have animals that need to be taken care of. They, they're they not like self-sufficient. So um, since it's a four-day trip, he's going to stay and take care of the animals. So, oh, that reminds me. I have to, here, here. I have to pick up. I think I just hit my camera. I have to pick up my son's passport. So, he's the only one left that I don't have his passport. I already ordered it. Um, I just haven't had time to, you know, take time off work to go pick it up. Pick up passport. So, I have to get that on Wednesday. We leave on Thursday. And then there's going to be all of the dances and the convention. Friday, Saturday... And Sunday, and then we come home Sunday. So, let's put this one here. Just like I did that for Thursday. And here I'll do travel home. And because there are going to be dances, I'm going to put these large checklists up here and then I can hopefully write down what time the dances are at so that I know what to get ready for the day. Hopefully we'll have the schedule soon. I find the dance competitions don't give out the schedules very early. Usually you don't know until you're actually there. So, but at least this way I can write down which dances she has those three days what time, and then I can make sure we're ready. This will also be her first time putting her solo on stage, like on a competitive stage, so she and I are both super excited about that. All right, so if this is travel day, we have those three, four, the dances. There's no other activity. Um, youngest daughter is supposed to have gymnastics on Sunday. Now, I don't know if we will be able to get to it, but I am going to put it here. Gymna oh, no, not gymnastics. See, she's only been in cheer since September, but I'm still writing gymnastics. Honestly. Uh, she was in gymnastics for years, like since she was like two so it's taking me a minute to get used to the whole cheer thing. Let's go with this one. We'll go with this box. So I'm going to do cheer practice. And I will have to double check the timings on that if we're able to come back or what the situation is. I may have to leave her here with my husband actually. Because I don't know if we'll be able to be back in time. I have a feeling like it's a morning practice. So I'm going to have to double check on that. Because if so, then she may need to stay here for the week. She doesn't need to be um, at the dance competition because she's not doing anything. So, all right, I'm just going to work on the sidebar really quickly because I don't have much else to add. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking of it. We are recording our next podcast episode on Tuesday, so I do have to add a box for that. So this will be podcast episode five. So record podcast episode five. All right, 
So, I have that. Thankfully, I remembered that because that would suck. Now, I'm going to do my usual Monday through Sunday tracker. However, since I won't be home, it's not like it's going to be a true meal tracker. But maybe I can go ahead and plan out where we're going to eat when we are out of town. Because, Lord knows, I have no idea. Um, important. I'm going to do an important header here. Do this. Right there. I will do this full box checklist here. Trying to keep it somewhat similar. And then I usually... Let's do one habit tracker, shall we? Or should I just put the other box in? The other full box. Would it hide everything? I think so. Let's just do that. We'll put this right there. And then that hides that calendar. Okay, so that's where we're at. So this will be for packing, recording the podcast. We have recycling, pick up the passport. I don't have anything listed for Monday. Um, however, I will probably be kind of finishing my listings for the new release. So let me add this box here. Once I do get home, because we're going to leave early enough, I don't want to stay too... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to see my aunt, and I would love to stay a long time because she's awesome to hang out with, but I have so much to do to get ready to leave that I need to get home. So this will be... Um, Work on new release listings and then any orders. I think I have two orders that are open that I have to finish. Um, so unless I get more orders, I think I should be good before I leave. But that's where I'm at. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so we have this week planned out. I think it looks really good. I like the colors of it. I'm excited. It is a little bare, but I will try to show you after we get back from um, this dance competition trip and show you what it looks like all filled in because I will add all the stuff. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I use this kit and how I laid it out in my Erin Condren Life Planner. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What have you been up to? What are you looking forward to? Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? And uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, everyone.